In the elementary textbooks, we have all read about the conservation principle at some point. Conservation of energy, for instance. But do we actually try to find out what the conservation principle means? Or we just accepted them as mere axioms? The very definition of conservation principle contains the full information about their cause. Take this statement for example. For an isolated system, the sum of all possible forms of energy is conserved. Sounds familiar? Here is the more familiar statement. Energy can neither be created nor be destroyed, only the one form of energy can be transformed into another form. Both of these statements are essentially saying that the total energy of a system does not change in time. In fact, the principle of energy conservation is a direct consequence of the homogeneity of time. Different time intervals cannot be distinguished. One hour was one hour 5000 years ago, is still one hour today and would be the same in the future. The universe does not differentiate a time interval now and a time interval little later. And due to this homogeneity, energy is a conserved quantity or to be more precise, energy is invariant in time. This happens only in spatial conditions but that is a detail. Another conserved quantity for isolated systems is the linear momentum. Momentum by definition is the product of mass and velocity. So it has to do something about the homogeneity of space. And that indeed is a correct guess. Law of conservation of momentum is true because space is homogeneous in nature. The properties of space are identical at different locations. Space here on earth is no different from space on the moon or space of a distant galaxy. If we look in a particular direction, then all the points in that direction are equivalent. We can take two steps forward and two steps backward and that does not change our fundamental properties. And that's what a moving object does. It carries some momentum in a particular direction in a line to say, and because the space along that line has same properties at every point, linear momentum does not change. Angular momentum is another such quantity which can be justified in such a way. It is the law of conservation of angular momentum that keeps the motion of planets around the sun in a well-defined orbits. Conservation of spin angular momentum is the basic principle in quantum or particle physics. As the name is saying, angular momentum is due to the rotational motions and therefore its conservation should involve the isotropic nature of space. The fact that properties of space are identical in all directions is responsible for the conservation of angular momentum. As we have seen that conservation principles which we regard as the fundamental laws are based on more fundamental laws namely homogeneity and isotropy of space and time. It becomes important to question the existing theories and ideas and to produce new ones.